All right, so new project. So the Raspberry Pi cameras I've been kind of testing out and doing a bunch of stuff with has been going decently well. Um, and sort of spinning off that, giving some sort of solution for having a bunch of cameras that can all be brought to a central location and then stream to whatever. Um, it's sort of an open, there's not really a whole lot to this beyond they want cameras and they want a way to record those cameras. Um, and so I'm sort of taking it uh, from that to not quite over-engineered, but uh, a much bigger solution, much better solution. Um, so I've been doing some initial thoughts and kind of planning. Um, the cameras where I'm using, that's going to be a whole thing down the line. I'm not worried about the cameras we're using. I'm focusing mainly on the solution for those cameras that will be there. So here you see all the cameras, they're represented here. They'll all come in and I'm going to use Nginx as my RTMP server. Um, there's a few ways you can do this, but honestly I think this is the simplest because there is a module called I believe R Nginx RTMP, might just be, no module, Nginx RTMP module that you can add on to Nginx that just allows you to accept RTMP streams and then from there, you can then kind of forward them on to an HLS or Dash stream that people can then uh, view and consume. But importantly, you can also then have the footage be recorded. So the point of this Nginx server here is to basically take all the video feeds on, um, one, to record them to a video, and then two, to work with what I'm gonna be programming is this what I'm calling backbones of this API here that is going to one, do the whole like stream key stuff. So kind of like Twitch and or really any streaming service, you have a stream key. Um, this is going to do the logic for the stream key and also probably have the front end there as well to, you know, allow you to view streams and kind of all that, but that's down the line. The main part is the Nginx RTMP module has an unpublish um, hook that you can call that will call an endpoint somewhere else. It'll then give it the stream key and allow you to kind of like redirect back or whatever and um, kind of change it up there. So that's the technical stuff I'm not going to get quite into, but the goal cameras going to Nginx using that module will then also split off and record video as it comes in. That way we have a raw recording of everything um, just on a hard disk or whatever if we ever need to go back it's there um, this module here will be used for stream key to extreme and then from that nginx again will convert the rtmp into hls or dash that then can either be you know sent to a tv in the facility or to an obs recording that can take all the feeds in and then you know combine it into a stream and send to twitch or whatever if we're doing like a live broadcast i don't know i just think this is the the simplest solution to this so first step is to get this working ignore the api just get a camera and an nginx that is recorded and then also kind of restreamed, I guess, or is pushed further on. That way I can consume it locally and just view it. All right, turns out it wasn't uh, it wasn't that hard to do. Um, a lot of this was spent getting things set up, but the plan for this, uh, at least as the end goal is, is all gonna be a Docker containers, it's gonna be in a Docker Compose, all of that. Um, so I have this project here, which is going to be the Nginx part of it. This will also probably be where the front end lives, because that's gonna be the easiest to have the front end be with Nginx, because of how Docker and React is probably what I'm using, uh, how it works. Um, but anyways, getting back to this, uh, I've gone ahead and set up a simple uh, Nginx server, um, look through documentation of how this uh, RTMP module works. Basically, you set the RTMP up here, um, ports. Um, applications are basically, they're a path that you can do. So I have two applications here, so two paths. There's a live and it's a verified. Um, as you can see here, I've sort of scripted out. The live will be where you stream to, and it's gonna use this on publish to then take your stream key in and convert it from the stream key to the actual channel name, um, which then this verified will use 
I'm still figuring out how to do it to where it, the publish dub kind of redirects you to verified and it doesn't stream to both, but the verified can't be streamed to. I, I'm still figuring this all out, but that's not the point right now. The point right now is that I have a Raspberry Pi on my window over here uh, streaming to the verified bits. Um, if I actually go to this, there's a little stat page that comes with this module. Um, you can see it's been going for five minutes here. Um, so you can see here, there's the live application is verified. Uh, there's a DJ I was playing with, don't ignore that. Um, so you can see here, this is the test key is what I'm using. Um, that's just the name of it. Eventually that'll be a stream key that gets turned into a channel. Uh, again, ignore that. You can see it's streaming. If I refresh, you can see it's going at about 100 or 1.35 megabits a second. It's only 4080p, 30fps. It's nothing special, but if we go back to this application and I do a little FF play command pointing to the RTMP that's coming off of that, give it a second, it'll pop up a little frame here and you can see, hey, that little pie, it's over there streaming a video. It's actually a uh, like a 64 megapixel Arduino cam, but at any rate, that's a live video going from that to a Nginx RTMP server, and then I'm then viewing it. That's like proof of concept there. That was really easy. Um, this was actually a lot easier than I was expecting. So I think the next step is to take this but then add in the API that I was getting at here. Add this in so that way we can allow and deny streams based upon a stream key that then translates to a channel. Um, probably unnecessary given that this is gonna be a closed system, but I think this will make this an easier user experience to have this this way. So that's what we're working towards now. Alrighty, well, it's actually not been too hard to do. Uh, I have working proof of concept like I had before, and now I have it to the next level of kind of Twitch-esque where you put a stream key in and it redirects you to a channel. So jumping over here, you can see this is the stat page that the Nginx, um, Nginx and RTMP module gives um, that you can configure. And as you can see here, there is a stream coming in with this test key I have and then my Golang backend, which I built uh, around this, which is here, you can see um, it listens for this RTM on publish uh, REST API. That is called from the config of my Nginx server. It calls this on publish. All it does is go here is it pulls out the stream key from the stream, um, make sure it's there. If it's not there, it's a 400, which I just messed up. Um, and then it gets the actual channel from the key. Currently, there's no logic for that. All it does is every key maps to this camera channel and then it returns that with this redirect. And then as you can see here, it's live on this camera. And I've also disabled it to where you can't view the camera from the non-verified endpoint. So if I hit this and give it a second, you can see now it's streaming there. That is on the verified endpoint, but if I go ahead and change this verified endpoint to the, the stream key, um, live and then it was like test key, I think. If I change it to that, you'll see it gives a, just a, just a, just a, doesn't open. That's all it does. So you can't view the RTMP there. I'll probably just disable the RTMP on the verified endpoint, um, but that's this is helping for debug, so I'll do it later. But yeah, um, that, that's really all this is. I mean, this is a working RTMP server. In theory, you could deploy this. I think from an end user perspective, it's easier if I build a UI around this that allows for easier key mapping to channel names. I could just do the channel name and just not worry with the stream key, but I don't know for sure if this will be on its own network which would be not ideal. So it's just, I think it's easier for me to build in the mapping from a key to a stream, um, just to make life easier down the road, possibly, I don't know. So with that done, I think all that's left now is actually go and do the full thing, make a Twitch clone, if you will uh, say, where you can not only get a stream key for a channel, where you can also create channels, um, but you can get a stream key for that channel, 
Um, you can actually view streams. That'll be on the front end. Um, what else is on the back end? I mean, that's really it. It's just make channels, make keys for a channel, and then be able to view streams from a URL. Um, that's really all of this is encompassing. So I think that is what I'm going to go with. I think uh, the front end will probably be done in React, because that's what I know. So I kind of tend to stick with front end development, so it'll be React front end. Back end I've been doing is all in Golang, so that's be nice. But I think I'm going to do the database using Redis, um, simply because I've actually been starting to get into Redis some more and get away from always using MySQL. Yeah, so uh, the next update is probably going to be the entire system more or less complete and then a full on demo. So this has been uh, <laughs> a lot of theory to start and then all the work is going to be done and then just skipped over. So yeah. All right, so I've been working on the UI and the system overall on and off for the past, I want to say, few weeks it's been since I did anything on this, but it's not been too bad. It's been pretty easy to develop, and actually this whole system's really working well, with the exception of HLS. I don't know what it is, but HLS, which is, if you don't know, HLS is basically the way the server takes the RTMP stream in, it converts it to HLS, which is then what the browser can see, HLS... Um, more or less is just uh, breaking the video up into video chunks, I guess, and serving it that way. It's a little more complex than that, but uh, it's a high level. But um, getting that to work has been just a nightmare. I don't... something isn't right. I don't know if it's Nginx RTMP module or it's something else. I don't know, but it's just been a nightmare. And so if we jump over to the thing, so here's the stream. Um, so you'll notice down there's a, like a channels page here I can go to. I can actually add a channel. Um, channels are what you know, cameras can stream to. Again, this is like a mini Twitch essentially. Um, so the channel, I can actually go here now and I can actually view all of the recorded files of a stream. So you can see these are all of the the 30 minute chunks that I record to. I can download it. I haven't bothered with playing yet as doing a VOD system with FLV, I, I just haven't bothered, it's, I don't, we just haven't gotten there yet, I, maybe another day, but um, yeah, so this, so now we do have a little stream page here, the stream page um, also has a thumbnail, I guess, which is, I guess, just a still from that, it records a still every, I think it's like 10 minutes or so, uh, beyond the point, you notice though, it says a nice, uh, nice little rainy day, um, if I pop open this, um, and I play, as a car goes by, you'll notice that, uh, it just, it just doesn't serve these .ts files. These .ts files are essentially the, the video. Um, I believe this is kind of like the, the headers, I guess this is what kind of determines what to play in this actual video data. It just doesn't have it. Like, okay, it'll play for a while. And then if I kind of let it sit, it, it just stops creating these files. I don't know if it's Nginx uh, RTP module or it's something I'm doing, but it just they don't get created for whatever reason. And and like this is on the server, these are being served directly from the server and they're just not there. Um, so I, I don't know what's up, but uh, it, this works when those files are there. This, this whole thing works and it's like a, a five, it's like a delay, it's not the most perfect system, but again, I'm not been focusing on this. I don't know if this is actually totally necessary. Um, it's kind of gets more to the, the end goal when we get to that, but um, yeah, you can go, I can go on with this just for days and weeks on end, just kind of tidying up, cleaning up every little thing, but it's just, what's the point when I'm kind of guessing and what's gonna be needed in the future, so, I think this works this is a good solid foundation for this whole project, good solid backbone for building this up on. Again, I am using Nginx RTP module, which seems like after doing more research is kind of not really out of date, but there hasn't been a commit or update made to it in the past two years, so you're kind of getting a little sketchy in the fact that it's going to fall out of date. Um, but it just works so well. Just the fact it just takes RTMP stream in, it just converts, it can auto record, it can just for it, it just works so easy and effort, effortlessly beyond this HLS issue. Uh, I don't know if it's because the camera doesn't have 
audio or I, something is not going right but that's an issue for another day i think i have all of the core components that are needed for this so yeah so i think this is a good point to kind of stop this short segment video again this is a new style but um i am will be working on another project that is tied into this um kind of making a whole uh, clip system i have this button here that's part of it um but making a, a sort of clips system from this, which, uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, you should do so, because that'll probably also be a video off of this. I've started some work on that, but it'll be another one of these uh, recording style videos that I'll be doing to cover that. But, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, though. Hopefully this uh, video has uh, been interesting, and uh, hopefully this video format works for me. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.